I have participated in various temples of Sai Baba. We have a Sai Baba temple in Canada, in our place. We have, we are now going to have a Sai Baba in uh, Australia. And then we are uh, going to have a Sai Baba temple in Skandavel, in Wales, in UK. And probably another temple of ours in London area, somewhere in London. And uh, then Slovenia, some, Serbia, so many places. There can be hundreds of temples, but I was thinking about one huge Baba statue which will remind people of the presence of Sai Baba in this world. The idea was that that one particular statue will be kind of a, a, a real deep presence of Baba in, in the whole world. So this project is still a dream in my mind and I still would like to pursue it at some point in time. And also one other thing, I would like to showcase, I would like to tell the world, there are people in, who walked this earth, there were a lot of great masters who walked this earth, who wanted nothing from earth. They wanted nothing. All they have, they gave. There were people like that. There are people like that. I, it is my interest to tell the world, there are such people who exist in the world. They want nothing. The world knew only haves and have-nots the Marxism theories, you know, theories of Marxist order, Karl Marx theories. But there are people who can have anything but want nothing. You see, they could have had anything, riches, money, power, anything they want. They had that power, but they wanted nothing from earth. Instead, they gave whatever they had to earth and they became legends. So it was, it was indeed my interest to showcase in that space, in front of Baba or in Baba's presence, so many people who walked this earth who wanted nothing from earth. This is a big message you can give to this world. We are chasing things in the world and suffocated, suffering, because expectations never ends, desires never end, inclinations and tendencies enslaves people. Where is the escape? You can have anything you like, but they are all temporary. Whatever you earn from here is temporary. All relationships are temporary. Time is temporary. Space is temporary. Likes and dislikes change. Ideas change, concepts change, notions change. So we need to understand that what are we chasing here? And, and we have created a lot of situations in our life because of our own likes and dislikes, inclinations, tendencies our uh, concepts and theories and, and at the same time we do not know what is freedom. We believe freedom of mind is freedom. That's not true. As long as you carry garbage, you will have to handle the garbage. So exactly these points must be remembered. These points should be remembered. Because see, it's not about needing so many things from earth. Even if we get a lot of things, people won't be happy. People will still say, oh, I want more. If you have 100, you want 1,000. If you have 1,000, you need 10,000. 10,000, 100,000. People's desires keep growing. Demands keeps increasing. And it's never ending. You know, there is a, a song connected to Raja Harishchandra. He f uh, fell from the king, kingship or the, being a king to a keeper of a cemetery, graveyard. And he was walking around and he gets a piece of a skull. So he's saying, oh, this is the skull which had combed his hair in style and, and applied uh, vermilion on the, on the forehead and made itself beautiful and walked around in pride in the society. Now this is a useless skull. So that's where it ends. It says that uh, the uh, end of the day, it's just a useless skeleton which nobody needs and it will merge with earth. We need to be remembering this all the time. When we remember Sai Baba, we should remember these things. Instead of going and complaining for what we don't have, be happy with what we have. Be happy with what is given. This uh, temple of uh, Palakkad is touching many hearts. Now they have Dathatreya, they have uh, uh, Lord Hanuman, there is Duni, and it's growing and a lot of people are coming. It's expanding, growing. Baba makes it grow. And of course, the heart of the people too, who are running it, that's that dedication. 
But when we go there, we should remember, we should be grateful to be alive. We should be grateful that we are walking this earth. We should be grateful for all our relationships, whether it's good, bad or ugly. Everything has given us some experience, maybe good, maybe bad. But we, we have learned and we have grown with those experiences. And as I always say, we are, whatever age we are in, we are all ages at the same time. A one-year-old boy, we were, at, we were one year at one time, five year, 10 year, 16, 18, 20, 50. All these ages sit in us. We are at the same time, every age, we are everything. Nobody is just one, one particular time and one particular age. We are a bundle of all these ages, this life. We also carry forward all the remnants of all our lives of the past. The major remnants are with us, which is visible as inclinations and tendencies, likes and dislikes, desire patterns. We have it. Plus we have come from two people, father and mother. They, the, that put together four people connected to the, both parents of their parents, then eight people. So how many people are behind us? Keep, keep multiplying. We are the remnant or we are the continuation or we are the inheritor of all these aspects of lineage. We have something about them too. So what we are from our childhood till now, what we carried forward from our past lives to now, what is what we inherited from our lineage up, up till now, this is all connected, conglomerated in us. We have collected everything and we are expressing that in our life. So, what best you can do now? Surrender to the master. Surrender doesn't mean in the mind. Understand and recognize the master, the stature, omnipresence, multi-dimensionality, and start connecting to that. The more you connect, the less burden you have. The more ownership you have, you have huge burden. Because ownership is an illusion. We own nothing here. This is mine, this is mine, I want that, I want... This is illusion. We cherish it, we live with it. You know, and this gives agony, anxiety. But uh, we are not uh, these things. We can own nothing. Not even this body. So, uh, Baba and the masters of Baba's stature, there are great avadudas. They were living examples of this emptiness. Understanding, awareness, awareness of consciousness, awareness that they are consciousness. We are divine beings having a terrestrial experience. We are divine beings. We are just having a terrestrial experience. That's why I said Krishna never left, Rama never left, Jesus never left, Sai Baba never left. None of these people will leave because even one person remembers them energetically they are here so there is there is a lot to learn here understand here experience here we have a lot to experience and all these are theories unless we experience it so what we should focus is on experience we should feel the energy inside us we can call it self-realization whatever we call it doesn't matter but if that experience doesn't happen that's just a theory it's only catering to intelligence. But when it's catering to awareness, it has to be experience. That's the core of spirituality, spiritual journey, experience.